What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about quality of life changes for guilds in the Elder Scrolls Online. This has always been a topic of conversation in the community, but over the last few months, it's uh, picked up a good bit compared to what it has in the past because people know in quarter three, we're going to get some quality of life changes. That is what quarter three this year is kind of all about. And a lot of people were hoping that some of these quality of life changes would be directed at guilds. And I do think guilds need a update. There's a lot of things that could be done with guilds in this game uh, that are done in other games or things that are not done in other games that could be new ideas. But guilds definitely have a lot of room to grow. So one thing a lot of people were talking about was a guild mail system just for, you know, guild mail. That way when you're doing auctions or you're doing things just within the guild itself, you would have an option just to have that guild mail, mail option instead of having just your regular mail system. Another thing that I have talked about on the channel here several times, made a video back uh, about a good long time ago, was a guild house or, you know, something that is not just a individual's, but it actually is the guild's kind of guild hall where it holds more people. And it also uh, is owned kind of, you know, by the guild and not by an individual. Because the issue that I talked about in the past in the video was if someone owns the home that has all of the, you know, runestone, I mean, uh, sorry, mundestones, um, all of the, uh, you know, test dummies, that kind of thing, and they decide to leave the guild, then your guild's kind of just at a loss with that. So a lot of guild owners, of course, are, you know, making sure they have all the tunable tables, all of the Mundestones, all of, uh, you know, the different target dummies. And that does get expensive for some smaller guilds, uh, people maybe that have, that have not played as long as others. So I think a guild hall would be a great idea. Um, some people talked about some ways to track who's donating to the guilds or more tools or options to kind of see those things that would be helpful, for, especially for guilds that have donations or have weekly, uh, you know, payments you have to make to use the guild trader. One thing that I saw that I thought was very interesting that some people had talked about was endeavors to do with your guild mates or in my opinion, other events or, uh, things you could do with the guild in general so if there was actually like guild events in game but instead of like the events we have like the jester's festival or the anniversary you know event kind of a calendar that's like certain times of the month there's things that guilds do that they can do together so you have to be with your guild and doing these things with your guild mates but it would be events that you could do you know kind of as, as a whole as a guild or just the endeavor idea is not bad either you could actually have endeavors that are made just for guild uh, people that are, you know, playing together. So I think there's a lot of things that could be done. And so, of course, a lot of these ideas that people are discussing are from other MMOs or RPG style games, uh, you know, that are similar to ESO. But I think it is a good thing to that. Well, at least that the community is discussing the guild system still, because a lot of people feel like guilds over the years have been mainly, at least here on the console side, have turned in more to uh, kind of that guild trader. There's not a lot of, you know, social guilds out there or PVE or PVP guilds, but I know there is a good bit uh, still out there, but I'm glad that everyone in general is still wanting guild changes. That shows that people aren't just interested maybe just in the uh, trading side of guilds, but also the social aspect and the, you know, finding new people to play with kind of idea as well. Uh, and that is what we need in the game. I think that is one thing that a lot of new players don't really get into and that is the guild system and if we can get some new uh things added to the guild system some quality of life changes i think would be a lot better off of getting new players involved in guilds and even involved maybe in in-game pve pvp trading whatever the case could be anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace